Welcome to my world. We will be talking about how to use a paint strainer bag. Today, I'm going to show you how to use one of these. This is a paint strainer bag. Look how big this is. This is for a five gallon container. They don't cost very much at the store. And uh, this is really good to use when you need to strain your paint. Just going to take our strainer bag and put it down into this bucket here and slide it on there. It fits really nice. It's got a little uh, collar around it so it's kind of a stretchy collar and you just kind of leave it down in there. Now all we're going to do is we're going to pour this paint in there and that is going to strain our paint. Very simple. If it's so simple why don't more people do it? I, I'm not quite sure. Just because they're not set up for it I guess. Alright. Just going to pour this in. See all that stuff in this paint? I can see all kinds of goobers in here. All kinds of nasties. Ooh. Okay. Now, I've got to decide. What am I going to do? Because once I strain this paint, I'm probably going to put it back in this bucket. But for right now, what I can do with this bucket is... Uh, I can clean it out. I've got just a crummy little paintbrush here. Might as well get all this paint out so that I can use it. It's surprising how much paint you can get out of a bucket like this. Now, I usually would let it sit like this for, uh, you know, tilt it up and leave it up against a wall or something. But uh, I'm not going to do that this time. But I want all that paint strained as well. So I'm just going to slide this around and continue putting it in here. It's got a cheap little paintbrush to do that. Don't use your good paintbrushes when you don't have to. That's why it's always good to hang on to some, some uh, crummy little paintbrushes. You never know when you're going to use them and when you can need them. I always try to have a couple spare ones around. See that little, that little bit of paint um, could be something that you need to finish your job. You just never know, okay? All right. I can clean that out a little bit better. You know, what I want to make sure is uh, if I end up pouring this paint back in here later on down the road, I, I want to have it in a good paint container, okay? So I can clean that out and reuse it in there. Or I can just use it out of this container here. Okay? I'm just going to move that around. This is a nylon mesh bag. I'm just going to take this. Now i got to lift this up and kind of hang on to it. See that? All that paint has been nicely strained through this bag. Okay? Now I can hold on to this for a while. What I usually do and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this and slide it over that. I'm taking the paint out. I'm leaving all the imperfections inside of this paint strainer bag. I don't want to press way too hard because I don't want to squirt any bad bits through these holes. Okay? I'm just going to do that nice and even. And uh, I'm going to rinse this bag out. And look at this. I'm in a little mess now. Make sure you got some rags around. But for me, what I've got just for this, I got a little bucket of water here I'm going to use. And uh, I can use that paint right out of this container now. This one here. 
But uh, if you want, after I clean up my paint strainer bag, I may end up putting it into this bucket now, after I clean this bucket out all the way, and I'll pour this paint back into this bucket. That way I've strained it twice. It's usually a good idea to strain your paint twice, and that's how you can do it with two buckets. Now if you have a third bucket, you got another bucket like this, you could, you could clean out your bag, put it into a third bucket, take that, dump it out into the third bucket. So there's different ways to do it, but before I strain any more paint, I'm going to rinse this out first. I mean, you could, you could, you could do this again out of this same one, but I, I'm going to choose to take this stuff that's in here out of here. That way when I strain the next little bit, um, I'm going to get that much better of a job. So try that on your next paint job and you'll find that it's going to help you do a way better job when you're using your paint roller, your paint brush, and uh, you too can paint like a pro.